Welcome everyone. It's another episode of the Tennis Talk Coaches Voices, where the coaches have a voice. For today, we have a great tennis leader, a great tennis coach with us, is Jill Cervara. Hi, Jill. Hi, Fernando. Thanks to invite me. No, thank you. Thank you to be with us. It's an honor. You are a great coach, a great uh, master person, and it's good that the people, the audience, they can uh, talk and we, we can listen more about you. Uh, let me introduce you to the people. Gilles is uh, the coach of the number one in the world, Daniil Medvedev, is a former coach of many, many players. He is an ATP coach, also is a GPTC coach, great A+. Plus. He was awarded like a ATP coach of the year, 2019. He was always GPTCA award coach of the year, 2022. And Gilles is an international tennis leader. Thank you, Gilles, again to be with us. And uh, it's a privilege. Thank you. Thanks again. Uh, uh, let, me, let me ask you our first question, because people want to know about you. Who is Gilles Sabara? Uh, that's a, a huge question. <laughs> um, who I am? Uh, good question. So what can I say from... From me, uh, I would say I'm a, a simple person, first of all. Um, the main thing about me, I think uh, it's uh, especially about my career and my, mm -hmm. you know, my everything I did in tennis right now. It's uh, the beliefs that I think everything is possible in, uh, in, in life. Um, from the moment that you have a dream and you are really determined to, to, to follow your dream. So I can say that uh, this, this mindset uh, made, made me who I am right now. Yeah, definitely. And we know you are an incredible tennis leader also and you know, promoting tennis and helping tennis in many ways. How was uh, your vision to become a tennis coach? Well, uh, um, if I remember, you know, when I, I, I stopped playing tennis, um, I, I, I'm not sure I had a vision at that time to, 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 to become uh, the coach I am today. Just when I, when I stopped tennis, I, I was just uh, attracted by performance or by coaching mm -hmm. tennis player and, um, and to do my, you know, my best every day. Uh, I have an anecdote, for example, you know, one day, um, it was the beginning of my career. I was uh, a young coach and uh, I was not in, the good, in a good mood that day, I remember. Like, uh, it happens for everyone, uh, anytime. And uh, I remember I read something, an article, tennis article. It was uh, about Richard Gasquet. Oh. And, um, and I read this article and I said to myself, fuck, I have no chance to be at the high level. I remember this uh, because, you know, I, I was not in a good, good mood at this moment. And uh, uh, so now when I see uh, my, you know, my, my career, I, I'm laughing about this time because um, I, I worked a lot. Um, I worked a lot. I had a chance to, 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 to do good things with good persons. To you know, to help myself to 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 have opportunities to to coach different kind of players and then to to be where I am today. Yeah, and also you are a great reader, no? And also you you read many books, and also you have a style. Sometimes we we spoke about you know, like Ancelotti, no? Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. We talk about you, you sent me one day, you know, uh, Ancelotti's uh, yeah. book. Uh, and I was laughing because I was reading that book at that moment. Uh, yes, and uh, Ancelotti is that kind of, of coaches that, uh, that I, I like the style because I think uh, I can say that I have the, the same style of this, uh, of this person, you know. If, if I describe his style, it's, uh, it's like, um, you know, a kind of coach with the very... Uh, engage in the relation, in the communication, not trying to be a hard person, you know, uh, like sometimes um, about coaching, I read many, many, many places that uh, 
you need to be strong you need to be hard with the the, the person you yeah. coach yeah and that's not my style my style of coaching of course i can be like anyone and when i read this book about ancelotti i was like yes it's exactly what i feel when i, I i'm coaching and someone like him talking about that that style of coach of coaching was really inspired you know to 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 realize that that's true uh, you don't need to be uh, like this you can have another style to to be a good a good coach and definitely he is a great coach with a lot of success like you you know yeah. it's like yeah. uh, it it means that the the formula is working no yes and uh, so i, I invite uh, I mean, every coach is to 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 read that uh, that book because uh, you can you can um, learn many things from uh, from his mindset and how he how he sees uh, coaching. Well, uh, for the for the next time, for sure, they they will read your book, which is for yeah, sure in some yes. year some years will come. Huh? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, for sure, uh, Jules. How was your evolution from being a competitive tennis player to be a top tennis coach? How was uh, that transformation? Uh, well, um, if you talk about uh, my transformation, my deep transformation, I would say that uh, it didn't start when I stopped playing tennis. I, w I, 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 I would say that it starts when I, I was tennis player, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because I, I, I've started tennis uh, very late. I was like uh, 15. I had a normal scholarship. Uh, I was not a good tennis player, uh, but I, decide, I decided one day to, my dream was to, to be a, a tennis pro. Mm -hmm. uh, it was almost impossible, but it was my dream. And I felt, you know, the, the fire in myself to, 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 to reach it. And from that day, I think I understood that I need to, to work my inner world to, to, yeah, to transform or to sculpt my, myself because I felt when I was uh, playing tennis, when I was facing obstacles, that I was not strong enough. I, had, I hadn't enough resources. Mm -hmm. So it, st it started when I was a tennis player. I didn't make my dream to be a tennis pro. Uh, I mean, at high level. So when I stopped tennis and became uh, a tennis coach, it was the same, you know, it was the same road, in fact. Just uh, instead of to be tennis pro, tennis player, I was tennis coach. And in fact, it was, uh, yeah, it was the same, same thing. And, you know, step by step uh, with the different opportunities I, I had, like uh, coaching, you know, uh, uh, young players, like a private coach, Then after I was in a small academy. Then mm -hmm. after I um I I, I co-created my own uh, tennis center. Mm -hmm. And then all these experienced uh, experiences helped me to 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 yeah to grow up as a coach and uh, to learn many things as a coach uh, with the different kind of players I, I was coaching. And uh, today I'm here to 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 talk about it. And also, you spent the last five years with Daniel, no? Yeah, now with Daniel, it's uh, it's five full years, and uh, yes, it was another step for me as a coach because uh, uh, what can I say? I remember the first day. I mean, one of the first day uh, I was with him in the tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not his main coach at that time, and um, I was uh, joining him coaching him for for a, a tournament he was mm -hmm. there already and i came because i was with another player in another 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 country and when i i started to coach him i realized that he was different and i had to be also a different coach or not a different coach but i had to adapt to him yep. to his style yep. to uh, to uh, his identity and i remember this day because I made a mistake this day, uh, and it's important to say because maybe we 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 will have we will talk about it. When I made this mistake, straight away after I was in my in my in my room, and I was thinking about okay, this thing happened, and 
okay, I, I, I feel that I, I used the, the wrong type of coaching, for example. So I was thinking in myself to, to, to try to improve this and to do something different the next time I would have to, to talk to him or to coach him on the court. And yeah. And I'm talk, talking up, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm talking about that, you know, how important is self reflection, no? About how you are working with the player, no? Yeah. For me, self reflection, uh, um, reflection, I mean, uh, question yourself, it's uh, um, a big, big part uh, for me, but as a person, you know, as a person when I was a tennis player. Uh, as a person, uh, as a tennis coach, and in life also, it's it means everything I live. I try to to think after what I could do better, or what if something was wrong, even good. I would I, I would like to say I will ask myself, okay, uh, did I I do the, the the good thing or or not, and what I can improve or. Uh, where is my responsibility in that situation to do better or something like this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, like you say, to be a high-performing coach, to be a high-performing player, you have to be firstly a high-performing person. Gilles, how many? Or oh, let me ask you about difficulties that you had in that transformation. How was it? Look, I, I would I, I will say that about this question, it, it has a link with the previous question because I, I, I wanted to say also because of my history, um, especially because as I said, I, I started tennis very late and I, I didn't have any, you know, uh, uh, weapon to be a tennis tennis player. You know, like when you are a kid, you know, you know that you can be a good player or not. I was not in that situation. My family didn't play tennis, so it was something. It was new for me. Yeah. And um, and so to yeah to be a better a better tennis player every time I had to to question myself because I was faced to so many difficulties uh, every day to to learn to learn new things uh, to realize that uh, I was against the wall in many 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 times so i want to say that uh, obstacles difficulties helped me to be where i am today because i was mm. i didn't have any other option against a wall against obstacles to to try to to break it because my dream was over you know was through yeah. these obstacles so so i was so determined to to yeah, to break the wall, to 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 pass the obstacles. So I have so many so many things. I can give you an example of my one of my biggest difficulties in my tennis career. You know, when I was younger, uh, you know, 15. When you start tennis at 15, uh, I, I didn't travel a lot. I didn't travel before, so I was always with my parents. You know, normal life. So when you start to travel at 19 or 20. It was so tough for me. I was taking the plane or the train to go to tournaments, and I was uh, I was like uh, like a zombie. Yeah, it's tough to explain, you know. I was uh, uh, almost uh, my emotion was uh, destroyed me, and uh, so I arrived on the tournament. I was like this, and I couldn't play tennis, and it was very tough because I didn't understand why I was like this. I wanted to go to play tournaments and uh, to 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 show that I could compete and I couldn't do it so I was very sad about this it was very tough for me and uh, when the, okay I, I, I lost so many times like this first round of course and I I was coming back home and I was thinking okay this I will face to this I, I will not accept to finish or to be like this yeah. and uh, so so that's why I I, lo I worked a lot on myself to to try to 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 win against this uh, kind of uh, own obstacles, you know. Yeah, and also that's like, one. Of, that's one of one an example. I have so yeah, many yeah. others, but uh, this one was was very tough. No, uh, that's why the transformation of yourself are so important to understand and to work with yourself, not to find solutions. 
Yes, exactly. I mean, as I said, was it was my only solutions if I wanted to 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 succeed or at least uh, to feel to feel free, to feel happy, to do what I wanted to do because that was the main thing for me. It was okay. I want to do this job, even if people say no, you have no chance to 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 do it. Uh, you cannot do it. Look, you started play tennis, play, play tennis so late. I was, but I don't care what you say. You know, my dream, my determination, it's to do this. So there is no book to say you cannot do this. Yeah, exactly. And in my and in my life, in my in my mind was, I want to do this. I will do it, no matter what. I will do it. I will find a way to 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 do what I want to be happy, to be free as a person, as a human being. Well, and, and it's very important insight, Gilles, that what you are saying, because you have to believe in yourself, no? ready to pay the price and strong confidence, and you can do yeah. it. Yeah, that's, that's true. You have to be ready to pay the price. That's a good, uh, good, good sentence, good beliefs. Yeah, you have nothing, I think, in life, especially in perform, uh, when you want to, to compete, when you... You, you talk about performance. I mean, if you want something, you have no chance. You have to be ready to, to I want to say, to give your life for it. Yeah, definitely. I was, and, I, and I was ready for it. Yeah, yeah. And, and the results show, is showing that you, you were on the path, no? You are paying the price, you know, very determined, very focused, and also very smart because you learn a lot different sources you know to try to find the solution let me let me ask you Gilles about what do you think could be a recommendation for the new coaches we have an audience tennis people tennis fans coaches from all over the world it's important your insights about what it means to be a coach yeah that's a good question so, uh, let me think about this it's not easy to 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 answer because um so what I could say to all coaches in the world, you know, especially young coaches, of course, what I, I'm going to say, it's about how I, I mean, how I see um, to, 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 to succeed as a coach. But I would say that, first of all, everybody has his own history, uh, own experience. So I would say the first thing is to try to to build your own identity uh, as a coach. Mm -hmm. I think that's the the very very important to find in yourself who you are, to find what kind of coach you are, what what you have to transmit. And I think we are all different, and that's the, this difference is very important because I don't think that uh, another person can do can do like me. Or me, if I cannot do like another coach. So I don't try to be another coach. Of course, I can use what sometimes what other coaches uh, do good, but I, I will have to, to transform this as I am. You know, that's very important. That's the, the main thing. The second thing I, I, I would like to say that when you are a coach, it's very important to, to take care of your communication with the player mm -hmm. um uh, you know uh, now you you know me a lot uh, fernando i think for me there is two parts uh, as a coach there is the the coaching and mm -hmm. there is the training and mm -hmm. that's two different parts of the same job uh, you need to be a good trainer you know uh, on the court the action of uh, of the practice uh, this is one part uh, i mean I would like to I would like to say this is almost the the easier one, um, almost. Of course, it's not that simple. But and, and yeah, the yeah. second one is the the coaching part, because you deal with another human being, you know. And this part is um, is so it's so is really tough. And to 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 manage this this part, I think it's very important to know your to know yourself. And I think that's why I'm quite good in that part it's because i i i, I learned myself i i know my, myself since i'm working on myself since now almost 20 years so i can be you know i can understand how a human being can can think and the emotion he can have 
it's not that simple sometimes you know uh, on the court and in your in your head so i think it's it's very important for for new coaches to to understand this and to work on it and also what you predict with example is to put a lot of energy you know to have a, a very important yeah. quantity of energy to do that yes So the energy we talk about energy, it's it's not. I mean, what we what we are talking about when we talk about energy, um, and that's an, an important part of of course. You know, energy. Let's say that there is two things in energy. There is the uh, the vibes. You know, good vibes. It's important as a coach, I think, to have these good vibes. But I think if you if you manage what I say, you know, the coaching part. Uh, and if you try to 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 know yourself, it's easier to have good this good energy that a player needs. And it makes me think, you know, last time I was uh, I was watching, you know, the the GPTCA conference, the coaches mm -hmm. conference was very interesting. I, I like to uh, to 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 listen all the coaches to to understand what is their uh, you know their vision, their their, their identity. And I was uh, listening uh, Brad Gilbert, mm -hmm. and he said something that very, I think, very important. And I, I, I 100% agree what, with what he said. He said, you know, all around the season, uh, you have some bad days. You know, the player can have bad days. Uh, and he said, he said something like, you know, it's so important that at that time the coach brings the good energy to push the player in that day to to push him. To, to try to to get the best part of himself and when he, he was talking about this it, it was so true and even when he was talking about this he said it with you know these good vibes this good energy that yeah. makes yeah. the other one the, the player in the good enthusiasm in the good uh, in the good mood I mean sometimes it doesn't work of course but the coach the, his job is to try to have these good vibes anyway any any in any situation of course it's not easy all that all the day all day yeah of course and it's a long year and it's it's, it's a great challenge for everyone no? uh, yeah. and i had sorry fernando i had two other points uh important it's to have coherence coherence you understand yeah. it's uh coherence. Yeah. because it's important in one day when you say something one day make sure that the other day you say the same thing because I, I heard so many coaches, so many person, they say one thing one day and because the situation is a bit, uh, is not the same for them the next day, they change totally the what they said the previous day. And in that situation, the player, you know, is, is lost because it's like, but you said this last day and today you say something totally different. And it doesn't understand. So this is important. This is one thing like this I, I'm thinking about. Yeah, it's a big congruent, no? Like you always say, no? Big congruent. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. also, and also, the, uh, big congruent give a lot of respect, no? Because yes. The, you know, which is important. Yeah, that's true. It gives respect because, like this, the I mean, the player can feel can feel confidence in what you say every day. You know, he feels that you. You are a consistent person, strong person in the way that you you are stable, you know, and um, and he can he can count on you. He can count on the on, on this kind of person uh, every day, and I think yeah, it, it gives him respect day after day. And of course, if you work with respect for someone, you can listen him uh, much more, and uh, you can you can, I think, uh, make performance uh, with this. Yeah, ab absolutely. Gilles, related on that, which are, from your point of view, the values, the personal values of a coach, uh, which could be to be described? What do you mean? The values of a coach uh, that he has to have? You think? Yeah, like you, uh, you human me? values. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh... <sighs> First, the first one I would say empathy. Empathy is uh, is important. Uh, again, this word I, I feel it. I, I feel I feel it in myself since, I mean, since ever, since uh, forever. Because I think you 
uh, it's something I, I have in myself. But uh, also last year I was uh, listening. Um, 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 Castell Alberto Castellani. Yeah, Alberto Castellani, and he was talking about empathy. And I said also, yes, you are right. That's hundred percent true. I totally agree with this. This is uh, important that the, you feel empathy for your for your mm. player, uh, and that's one of the most important human value that we can share as a human being. Uh, then. I mean, empathy brings uh, that you you listen your players, that yeah. you will try, you you will have uh, you know uh, communication with your players. So it's like yeah, it, it gives it helps people to connect together. Yeah, and I think it's important. So that's the the first one. The second one is yeah, res respect for your player. Um, then. No judgment about you know about about mm -hmm. what the player leaves when he, he talks to you when he feels different things. To not have any judgment of uh, of uh, of many many things he, he can he can leave on court you know because uh, yeah it's 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 tough and sometimes because we are different it's not because your player leaves something that it it looks simple for you that you. You 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 have to have judgment on this, and um, yeah, I think it's important. Yeah, absolutely, very good insight, Gilles. And let me ask you about your coaching principles, which are, if you have to describe your style, which one you can say? First of all, uh, my first principle is I try to to feel um, the profile of my of the player. You know, to feel who he is as a person and as a player. That's the first one. Like this, it helps me to be, to connect my, to connect myself to, to his uh, his own style, own energy. <clears throat> and this, if I if I'm able to do it, I feel that I can, um, yeah, I can I can build the confidence like yes. this. Um, yeah, it's like uh, it's like I don't know how to say it really in English. It's like if you have a cable for your computer and you you put you know you you yeah. put the, the cable in the computer. It's a bit the same. It's connection, uh, no? Um, yeah, that's the connection. And uh, the second one, very strong also for me. It's uh, of course I, I I try to identify all the the goals you know uh, for the players. Uh, the working goals, all you have to work. So that's very important to be clear what, uh, with the player uh, about the work you have to do, to know where you where you 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 plan to go. And then I, I, I'm very, you know, I have a big discipline uh, of my work to structure my work. When when I say this, it's uh, every day I go on court. You know, I have my I have my plan of the of the practice of the goals, so uh, I'm very yeah very I'm very disciplined uh, person, and that's uh, that's uh, a, pr a strong principle for me. Yeah, it's very very important, and also you you manage different situation. No, you are very adaptable. You talk a lot about it. No. Yes, uh, we talked about this uh, last time also, you know, to be like water. Remember yeah. about this, uh, this uh, book that you sent me also at, about uh, Bruce Lee's book. And yes, adaptable. This, I mean, it's something I think that you, you discover step by step with experience also. It's not, it's not like, uh, okay, I want to be adaptable, I'm adaptable. It's yeah. more something like you, you build day after day. Uh, with the the experience, also with the because you question yourself every day, so it brings you a bigger you know a bigger vision of the big picture. So then you you get better and better in this situation to accept what happened every day and uh, uh, re more ready to 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 accept every situation and to find the solution for every situation. Yeah, and and talking about that because you are a master or you are working hard, 
and the ways and different ways to communicate with your player. No, how much is important to have the ability to have the right communication process with your player, with your environment. Can you repeat the question, please, yeah. uh, Fernando? Uh, talk, talking about the process of the communication with the player. No, you 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 talk yeah. a lot and you did a lot about communication uh, principles. You know? uh, how how much is important to have the ability to communicate in different ways with the player? Yeah, uh, how much? Uh, how much? I, I would like to say that. Uh, the maximum it's it's very important thing as you as i said for me there is two things in 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 that job is the is the part the training part and the coaching part so communication is the is in the coaching part so it's very important but the training part is so important also so i would like to say both parts are important if you if you are good in one of these two but not in the other one. I mean, there is, you know, the balance is not good. You, for me, as a coach, as I said, it's both of them are important. So communication is very important, but not more or less that the training part. Yeah, of course. And uh, you're talking about uh, your relationship with Daniel, if you have to describe the pillars of your communication style with him, which one you can describe? The, the, to describe uh, what what type of communication? Yeah, you are you doing me, with Anil. Uh, yeah, the relationship with Anil. Which kind of uh, principle, let's say, in communication you apply with him? It's not simple to describe to to explain because it's. Uh, I will say it's. Uh, yeah, maybe I can use this uh, this uh, metaphor. You know, with Daniel, it's. Um, Many times it's invisible because uh, many times with him um, we are not talking because he is not talking a lot, for example, and I have to adapt to this, but I have to coach him also. So it's, as I said, it's something, I, know, I, I don't want to say it's mystic. You understand that, that word, yeah, yeah, mystic? Yeah. Yep. It's, it's not, but it's something. Uh, yes, let me. I give this example. Maybe it's it's better to to use example to describe. It was before Bercy uh, in 2020, mm -hmm. before the final. He was playing against Zverev, and just before the they enter on the on the court, we we were both of them both of, both of us in the warm up zone, and. You could see two types of diff of uh, of, uh, of coaching at that moment. Uh, Zverev was with uh, Ferrer at that moment, if I remember well, and they were talking a lot. You know where you know like Spanish can be. You talk a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you try to bring you try to bring energy, and and I would say that I'm that type of person also. So they were talking a lot before the match, Zverev and the and the Ferrer. And I was with Daniel. It was exactly the opposite. We were not talking at all, but I, we were talking invisible talk. Yeah, in it silence. Was, it, yeah. yeah, it was my coaching at that moment was totally invisible. It was kind of energy, kind of the how I was moving, how I was working. Sometimes I was asking asking some question very very specific question, you know, very short question uh, with distance between my question. All of, the, all of this participate of, of, the, of that type of coaching, for example, of that type of communication for him, for Daniel, because he, he, he was like this, you know, he, he, yeah. he needs it. So, yeah. and I was, I was watching the, this situation like, wow, it's amazing. You have this this style and the other one. And if you make a video of it, you, you see two different worlds. And it, but it works. No, it, it's, it's yes. showing that it works any any exactly. different system, no? Yeah. And then and then the the last years, Daniel is the number one in the world. You achieve your dream also, you know, winning Grand Slams with him and also being the number one in the world, winning great tournaments. You are 
facing battles against Djokovic, uh, US Open last year, uh, against Nadal, against uh, Federer. What do you think how big champions you know, behave, how they think, which kind of a description we can talk about it? Yes, first of all, I, I, I want to say that uh, I reached a dream, but it's not finished. I, 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 no, I have I know. many other mm -hmm. things to do in my career, and it's very important. I wish I would have, I will win more, more slams. Um, but about your question, you know, if I can give some common, you know, common values about uh, champions or about, you know, other person in life, because it's not only champions in sports, it can be in other activities, other disciplines. And I have many friends in, in, uh, you know, in uh, special forces, for example, I you know I have a lot of friends in, in, in that kind of, uh, of job because it's, it's a job also. And what I, what I feel, what I see, it's um, all of them, they have, you know, the, the strength of their determination. That's the main thing I, I, I feel and I see is the strength of their, of their determination, first of all. Second of all is that they have discipline. All of them, they have huge discipline. Then all of these persons are able to, you know, to learn from their mistakes mm -hmm. and to question themselves about the mistakes, to improve. Then what I saw, what I see, it's obstacles, it's it's not, I mean, it's not something bad. Obstacles, it's something that they make them stronger. So they use obstacle to, to, to improve and to get better. That's, yeah, the main thing I, I can say uh, about those kind of, of, of champions uh, in any activities, any discipline. And Gilles is like you say, you know, when you are a top or high performing person, you can have success in any kind of industry you know you have you learn the rules you have your principles probably acquiring you know the knowledge but in terms of uh, principles and concepts to apply it's practically the same no uh, you mean between different uh, disciplines? activities yeah activities yeah 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 i think you know i think you know, if, if you take someone, uh, let's say like this, because it's important for me and those kind of person inspire me, you know, also the, the guys are friends from special forces. If you take those guys and you put them in uh, other discipline, for sure, like I'm sure like uh, 100% that they, they will succeed in this other discipline. Because it's, as you say, knowledge is one thing that it's, almost easy to 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 have or to get with the time but the main thing is the spine uh, of who you are and what you do every day and that's something that everybody can 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 have i want to say or to build uh, because everybody can do it but uh, it needs work it, it needs uh, yeah effort yeah, definitely. And also, like you perfectly say, you know, the attitude is a key doing every day. You know? Attitude is more important than knowledge. You know? I mean, knowledge is important, but yes, attitude uh, every day, it's, I mean, it's what makes the difference, you know, uh, like also to use the, 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 the metaphor of the water. Uh, you can see that the water is can can you know can almost uh, destroy a, 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 a stone day after day. So yeah. it's because you do it day after day that uh, it makes the difference one day. You know. Yeah, absolutely. With the time. Yeah, absolutely, Jules. And uh, how is the life on tour? You know, how to be prepared because you have to travel to to be adaptable, like you say. How is it? You know, life on tour for me, for example, life on tour. Okay, you are you are far from your family, so that's the main. That's one of the main um, one of the main thing. But if I'm talking about my life on tour, I try to make it 
as I am at home. What I say about this, it's uh, I try because on tour life is succe succession of of a short action time and sh and uh, against you know long time waiting. So between the action, I'm trying to. I'm trying to live my life like uh, like at home. I try to 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 yeah to learn many things of different things I want to 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 learn. I do some sports, you know. Uh, everywhere I go, I find boxing club, like no, everyone knows now. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a lot of friends all around the world in the box in the boxing. So I say hi to them. Very good. And, um, so I try, yeah, to to to. Um, to stay to stay healthy in my mind doing many things that I like to do uh, and then during the action time of course I'm 100% focus on the job I have to do uh, the job I prepared and and there is a link between every uh, action time you know so it makes my life like in continue uh, there is no stop in fact in my life uh, or more on tour you know, I, I give I give some se the sense of my life like this. So yeah, yeah. and then uh, like you are building up your life, you know, all the time. No, yeah, exactly. And 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 Jules, how what do you think about the new rules of uh, to be coaching allowed on the on the circuit? What do you think? Well, uh, what I think, I think uh, it's a good thing. Um, I know that uh, Danny Valverde fought a lot to 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 bring that rules on the on the tour because I think he was thinking about this uh, for many years. And uh, you know, the first thing I want to say is I, I feel good about it because, like this, they allow something that uh, exists mm -hmm. already on tour. You know, because of course, when you are a coach in the box and your player is close to you. I mean, it's normal to 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 say something, you know. And every, I mean, not every coaches, but most of coaches, they they were already talking to players. So now they bring the rules like something. Okay, okay. Uh, it's a law to do what you already or uh, you already do on tour, you know. So so for me, it's a good thing. Yeah, and and which is important because it's a, a value of tennis. We are having transparency you know with a new rule yeah yeah of course after the only thing i i, I don't like not in these rules but uh, you know like on the wta for example they they allow coaches to come on court uh, once per set if i'm right uh and you have microphone and stuff like this and that's that's that part i don't like and i think coaches don't like you know because it's it's a private moment when you talk yeah. to your player, you know, uh, you, you sometimes because as a coach, you, you don't want to, to, to be heard, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's normal. I mean, if you talk to your wife, you don't want me to, to, <laughs> to, have to, to hear what you say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I understand that it's also a business Also, people wants to, 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 to understand uh, or to know what, what the coach say. I can understand this, but as a coach, you know, it's something private. Um, so I, I, I don't like this too much. Yeah. And a couple of questions, Jules, because we know that we can talk by hours. Uh, you are also a tennis leader, no? You, you bring a lot of different things to tennis and try to help tennis grow. What do you think how we keep growing in our sport? What do we have to do? Listen, one of the most important thing for me uh, in our sport, but it's in life anyway, or, and it's something that you, you are doing also with this kind of, uh, you know, of talk with coaches or the GPTCA conference. I think it's very important to, 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 to show coaches work, especially in tennis. And this part for coaches are, is important for, for me uh, because I think uh, it could be important. I would like to, to develop something like to, to coach coaches also, mm -hmm. to help coaches to, to grow up because I know how tough this job is. I know what it demands every day when you, when you deal with a, another human being 
and uh, especially in tennis tennis is a uh, okay it's like every sport it's all, all sports are different but tennis players are not easy to 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 understand or to coach uh, the posture to coach is not easy so i think helping coaches develop uh, help for coaches are, is very important. It's something that I would like to see uh, to, to develop in the, in, in the future. Then, uh, yes, I would like to say mental health for coach also. You know, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not only for tennis players. It's for everybody, I would like to say. So for coaches, it can be useful also. And uh, another thing, part it's um yeah to more like a job to have something like a protection for coaches because uh what i what i see from my experience now uh on tour but not only on tour you know when you work in academy it's the you know the the place the the coach has in this job wow the contract are, are not clear uh it, there is not you know um a base so i would like to say there is many things to be done to to make something more clear uh for coaches to to make them more safe more stable in in, in their job every day because yeah. right now it's something like uh you know uh it can be the end uh, at any moment and the coach doesn't know uh, what to do you know it's not uh, so uh, so it's not easy so i would like to say that i think something like this can be we can think about something uh, about this part. Yeah, we need to work to keep uh, growing and have a better structure for the coaching side in the next 10 years. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. I, I think this is, uh, this is something very important. Last question, Gilles. Like I say, we can talk by hours. Uh, are you enjoying your journey in tennis like a coach? Oh, yes, a lot, a lot, really. You know, if uh, if I'm I'm very grateful about the life I have. Uh, I mean, it's not the life I have. It's to to feel that when I was uh, you know 20 years uh, uh, younger, I was uh, uh, I was dreaming to 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 live in tennis, and uh, and I did it. I, as I said, it's uh, I continue, and I have a lot of other dreams and other. Uh, desires in tennis and uh, my determination is very strong but I'm very grateful of my uh, of my journey and my life uh, of this and I would like to transmit this because I'm sure many I mean all the coaches have uh, they have dream and um, they can reach also their dream uh, uh, for, for for their life yeah absolutely Gilles thank you very much to be in our episode of the tennis co uh, tennis talk coaches voices was a privilege for us, plenty of insight. Many thanks, many thanks also for what you are doing for tennis, what you did and you are doing for tennis. And in a, like you say, you're gonna do a lot more for our sport. And thank you always for your positive vibes and a lot of great insights, which help many other people to create, grow in our sport. Thank you, Fernando. I'm, I'm very glad if it uh, inspired people or, or the coaches. And um, yes, uh, um, I'm just happy for it. Yeah. Cheers uh, with our coffee for a good co Look. coffee conversation. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming next. <laughs> yes, uh, it's coming. Yeah. Uh, Jules, thank you very much. And also, thank you very much to the GPTCA, Tennis One, and Segal Institute, which are making possible this production. And thank you to you because it's important for us to create awareness and to create grow in our sport. Thank you very much to be at the Tennis Talk Coaches Voices. I am Alberto Castellani, president of GPTCA, Global Professional Tennis Coach Association. Learn from the best ATP coaches in the world. I hope that at the end of this course, you will learn a lot of things. I hope that I will see you on the circuit with your player. This is the goal.